Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me, Stitching with Sue here, here to do another machine embroidery video. So I have a white hand towel here, and um, just uh, decorating for the holidays, and of course here comes Dory, because she hears me talking. So Heidi, how Dory? <laughs> you gonna say hi? Oh, hello. Um, so this is a white towel. I'm not sure if this was one I had gotten from Kohl's or from Amazon. I've had it in the drawer and it's Christmas time. So um, my bathroom is red, white and reindeer. And um, it's actually like a male reindeer kind of thing. But I went on Creative uh, Fabrica and I found this really cute. Let me out. Uh, let me wiggle you over here. Here it is real cute little reindeer it's a it's a girl reindeer um and i just thought that this would be really really fun to stitch out on the towel i do have a red towel hanging but i want another towel to hang over the top of it so you can see it is uh and here comes george and george is my little um robotic uh carpet sweeper and he he's being a pain keeps going in the same spot gets stuck so if you hear that running around that's him. I don't anticipate him staying in this room long because he kind of gets annoyed because I have everything blocked. But anyhow, uh, 22 minute stitch. It's 11,477 stitches. So it should be not too bad. Um, and we'll have time to do a little chat. So let me move you back over here. So I have um, in, this is my, um, I'm doing the larger size. It comes in multiple sizes. Let me just readjust you here multiple sizes. I'm doing the, the large, it fits in my eight by 12 hoop. One of the things I love about the Brother Essence BE2300 is the large size hoop. So for me, eight by 12 um, is perfect. And um, cause you know, you wanna be able to see it. Now they're suggesting the colors of moss green and fuchsia, um, but I'm gonna do the bow in red and of course green and then a red nose, black, um, light brown for the antlers and of course black did I say black yeah probably some white um, so I do have a did I say this I'm not I don't even remember what I just said I'm so discombobulated and I will tell you about that in a uno momento por favor <laughs> and that's about it for my Spanish but um, I have a cutaway stabilizer again 8 by 12 hoop 7511 just put a fresh bobbin in um, because I made something else which uh, I'll take a picture of, but I have to hold off to show you because it's a gift and I don't want the person to see the gift. So I will take a picture, <coughs> excuse me, and post it on our Facebook group, Stitching with Sue. Let me grab a drink. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here are the antlers, light brown, five minutes. Oh, and I do have a water soluble stabilizer on top and I have it taped down with some of this Kimberbell tape just to hold it in place. And um, let me just fix you here because you know what's going to happen is I'm going to end up bumping you. I probably will bump you anyhow. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the other item I did, um, real pretty, it came out. It, it also is on a white towel. And I did it with the Kingstar Gold Metallic Thread. Absolutely came out stunning, beautiful. So how are you all? It's been a while. Not really, um, but I shared with you the other day um, a project that's kind of a little outside my comfort zone, but not really something I've done in the past, and you'll want to go back and watch that. It involves uh, my new granddaughter, Delilah, that's coming into the world in just a few, a few short weeks. Um, in about two weeks, she should be here. So check that out. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of puckering there on the stabilizer. That's okay. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, and I uploaded uh, my Facebook Live that I did on my uh, Stampin' Sue Creates. I, I still have people that like the uh, stamping videos, although I don't do too many. I usually just upload my Facebook Lives. So, check that out if you want to be inspired with some uh, rubber stamping. And it was a live event, but of course it's a recorded one that is posted on my channel. So, anyhow, what's been happening? Well... Let's see, this week I had a post-op uh, visit with my neurosurgeon and everything looks good according to him. And um, I have a next follow-up in a few months with him. Also had a dentist appointment for a cleaning and 
knock on wood, that all worked out well. So I had my teeth clean. And yesterday I had another appointment for, I didn't even know what it was for. Um, it was with a PA in the um, cancer center, with, like oncology. And uh, I'm like, I said to my son, I have no idea what this appointment is for. All I know is they called and they scheduled this appointment and thinking it has something to do with my uh, radiation treatments that are supposed to start on Monday. However, they're not. Another story. Um, so I went there and uh, he said, uh, yeah, so how, how is it going um, with the medication? And I said, I was supposed to receive this chemotherapy medication in the mail because it has to come from a specialized pharmacy. And I said to him, well, you know, they called and they said it was going to be shipped to FedEx. It was going to be here on November 29th. And then they called on November 29th and said that there was a delay and they will let me know when it's going to be shipped. So um, yesterday was December 1st and I still hadn't gotten the medication. So the appointment that I went to, which I had to pay a $40 copay, was absolutely worthless. George is running out of steam, he's slowing down now. So anyhow, um, I fun, funny, I said, well, you know, do I get my $40 copay back? Because this is absolutely wasting everyone's time because the medication never arrived. Nothing is happening. You have nothing to talk to me about. There's no testing to be done. So um, the woman just said when I checked out, well, just don't pay next time you come. So I, my son goes, I put a note in their chart about that. So that was a total waste of time. So I was supposed to receive a phone call today from a nurse to go over the medication, which again, I've not received. So um, she called. And she said, I just want to go over it. And I said, well, look, listen, I never got it. It never came. She's like, are you kidding me? And I said, nope. She, she said, let me look into it. She'll call me back. So she calls me back. She says, yeah, apparently um, they're all out of them and it's on back order. Well, you think they would have said that when the automated message called or some human being would call because she said, well, you know, our patient is supposed to start their radiation and chemotherapy on Monday. And she needs the medication to go along with the radiation. Yeah. You know, sometimes I, too many hands in a pot or I don't know. So she, what she said was, well, we're going to put that on hold. We're not going to have the appointment on Monday. And um, she said, we'll delay it a day or two. She's going to try to see if she can get the medication through another pharmacy. That is if my insurance will allow that. So, you know, the bottom line in everything in life, and not that this is anything new to me, is it's all about the money, right? Not about the patient anymore, about the money. So, can I just say I'm a little annoyed? Can you hear it in my voice? I'm a little annoyed, a little bit. So that's what's happening with that. Um, I'm just looking for my green here. They're calling for a moss green. Anyhow, so that's the story. Um, yeah, it's all about the money. It's all about the money. Um, so uh, let's see what else is happening. So I kind of haven't really been feeling my best lately. Um, a little bit of a headache here and there. Okay, so next is moss green. I have to change the color of this. Um, and my head was kind of like feeling a little weird today. I don't know, like a little bit off kilter. Um, maybe a little bit like, I don't know if you want to call it tingly. Um, but anyhow, um, yeah. So that, I didn't really feel my best today. And I was a little bit annoyed over all that going on. And um, I decided I was going to come up here and... Um, embroider. Um, I also had another phone call from, uh, we're going to go ahead with this green color, from um, someone in the healthcare field with my insurance just to check in, see how things are going. Um, she offered to help with this whole situation when I explained to her about the medication. And um, I kind of said to her, no, I said, let's just wait and see because this other nurse is supposed to call. 
Um, so she was very helpful with things. And um, so that's where we stand. Now tomorrow, a good friend of mine, and I'm sort of excited about this, invited me over. Um, she's part of a um, embroidery guild, and she's having a little tea. And she um, asked me if I would like to come. Well, heck yeah, I haven't gone anywhere. Can I tell you I have not gone anywhere um, other than doctor appointments and a grocery trip store. A grocery store trip, a grocery store trip. Yeah, yeah, anyhow. So I'm hoping I sleep well. I, I'm back to not really sleeping well. I think because I have so much on my mind, thinking about so many things, um, how this is all gonna work out um, financially and everything else. And I'm, I'm not really worried financially. I'm just worried about, you know, time off from work and, um, you know, possibly continuing my uh, short-term disability because these treatments are going to go in through, um, there goes George, I don't know what he's running over now, go, I just dropped my scissors, oh Tony, it's a hot mess day, it's a hot mess, let me get this string here, I have strings all over the place, George is running around crazy, sucking up all the strings, um, so anyhow, um, yeah, so now the next, they're calling for fuchsia, but I really don't want to use fuchsia. I'm going to go ahead and use red, even though I know that the nose is going to be red, but um, the bathroom is red with, you know, the reindeer thing. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do like an extension on my um, Aflac short-term disability because I think it's going to end up going uh, through February the beginning part of February and I believe I'm only scheduled to be off through mid-January I think George honey like as though he he can hear me and is listening to me <laughs> let me turn that thread George come over here I'll turn you off <laughs> it's just like going around in slow-mo um, I don't know if any of you have any of these little robotic carpet sweeper things, but um, I bought him, uh, hold on, let me turn him off, oh, there you go, there's his desk, yeah. alright, George is turned off, um, yeah, so I think I'm going to have to get like an extension on that to, um, to be off a little bit longer, um, because there's, Apparently, it's going to be some sort of side effects. You know, I guess you really don't know. Um, now that Dory's back again. Um, the medication that I'm on for the chemotherapy, thank goodness, is not where you have to go for an infusion or have a port or anything. It's actually oral medication. And um, it's just hard to believe that in this day and age that, you know, the medication is like on a back order and they're out of it. Like, I mean, it's sort of sad to think, are there that many people out there that are going through cancer treatments, you know, for this glioblastoma thing? Or is it just that there's just not a high supply of it? Either or, I don't know. But um, we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully that will all uh, work its way out. Uh, someone will call. Oh, excuse me. Oh, not on Tori. Not now. I'm talking with my friends here. She just always has so much to say. So anyhow, um, I just thought, you know, when I feel frustrated, which is how I'm at right about now, if you can't tell, you know, what's the best thing to do but to come up and um, sit around the embroidery machine with some friends. So that's where we at. We are at with that. Um, I hope you all had a uh, nice Thanksgiving. I'm not sure where we left off last time. I know with the with the um, the baby album, I didn't chit chat too much, and um, because I was working on that for a few days, so I hadn't been embroidering. But um, yeah, I don't know um, where we left off, but I had a nice Thanksgiving. Um, the grandkids stuck around for a couple days. They helped me decorate up and down the basement steps quite a few times. And then they ended up going home on Sunday and having a flu. And my, in the back of my mind, it's like, oh, please, please don't let me have a flu. 
I don't need this on top of all I have going on. So uh, the one grandson, he complained Sunday morning, the younger one, that he had a sore throat and he had a little bit of cough. And then the older one ended up going home and having like 102 fever and he had vomiting and everything. And here it turned out he ended up, he had strep throat. My goodness, I mean, I know um, there's a lot of things going around. And you know what, the whole, the whole thing of this was back when we used to wear masks all the time, like now we only wear them in medical facilities. Did you notice how there weren't a lot of illnesses around? Um, people were working from home. Um, there, there wasn't all the face-to-face um, -face contact with people. People were washing their hands. They were hand sanitizing. But now we kind of got a little lapse in that. And now the flus and everything else is coming back. Now, I did get a flu shot. Um, when I went to one of my appointments, they had asked me, you know, if you want a flu shot, you know, and I was like, sure, give me a flu shot. Um, I did not get the second part of my um, shingles vaccines because of all of this that currently happened to me. I was due to go for that in October and all of this happened in October. So I, I, I guess at this point, it's probably the least of my worries is to get the second chemo shot, but I'm not sure how far along you can do. But I know with the treatments that I'm having, you can't get any types of vaccines because of the treatments. So we'll just see what happens with that. But I guess that's another least of my worries, right? So I think this is going to be a really cute design. And did I mention this is from Creative Fabrica? Um, I've been on there looking around and I saw a pop-up that they had. Um, now I have the Creative Fabrica. I signed up for the whole year. You pay one price. It was like stupid silly how cheap it was. There was some kind of other pop-up where you can pay ahead of time and it's a lot cheaper. So if you're not yet a member of Creative Fabrica, I will put a link down below. And now if you use the link or any of my affiliate links, I do get a small commission on that and I greatly appreciate that if you use it, if you purchase any designs, um, if you become a member, any of those kinds of things, um, I do get a small commission for that. And, um, yeah, thank you for that. Let me grab some more to drink. I'm just so very dry today. I've been trying to drink a lot more water. Oh my gosh, she just won't stop. This will not stop, this new story. She is just very talkative today. I don't know what, what is it, what's going on? Oh, she left the room. I guess she figured, huh, she didn't go talk to me, I'm leaving. So I hope you you have some fun plans for the weekend. Um, it's just hard to believe it's December. When I went to the dentist and I sat in the chair and they had the music playing and it was Christmas music, I almost kind of like, I mean, I have some decorations in my house. I did some online shopping. I wanted to make sure I get all of that done because I'm not sure how I'm going to be feeling. And I'm pretty much almost almost done except for some handmade things that I'm going to be making and it's just going to be a very light Christmas is there going to be baking this year I don't know maybe not oh well um you know I've been on these steroids and I swear every time I go to the to the doctors I gain you know um I had lost a lot of weight before all this well not a lot of weight but I have lost I did lose weight before all this what is this one going to do um red oh it's underneath what if i should go with a little deeper red i'm gonna do that so it's gonna do um underneath the bow a little bit the top was supposed to be fuchsia and under here was supposed to be red so i think i'm gonna do the opposite i think i'm gonna do fuchsia underneath to give a little um highlight um the steroids absolutely in the beginning i mean i was so flying high on them um, let me see. Oh, that's a metallic. I don't want that one. Um, let's see how this is. Yeah, that'll work. Um, and then now I've just been like eating like it's going out of style and I hate it. Um, but tomorrow should be the last dose of those. And I'm, I'm hoping I can get back on track. I'll tell you. Um, any of you that have been on steroids before, you probably can relate to my story in that, 
you know, you just keep grazing from one thing to another thing to another thing, not being like satisfied with anything that you eat. So I'm hoping that that all straightens itself out once I'm off of them. They did take me off them temporarily um, when I was supposed to be weaned from them and they ended up having this severe leg pain. So they had put me back on them. So the other day at the uh, surgeon's follow-up, he said, well, you know, you can't be on them forever. And I, I know that and I don't want to be on them. So he said, finish up what you have, just take one a day now. And um, so I've been taking one a day since Tuesday and knock on wood, I haven't had any um, leg pain and I'm hoping that that was just some sort of fluky thing that happened with the leg pain. But anyhow. So next is going to be black. I'm just looking to see what the next color is going to be. So yes, Creative Fabrica is where this design came from. And like I said, I will put a link down below if you're interested in it. It does come in multiple sizes. Um, this is one of the larger ones. And I believe it's a small size for those of you that have a smaller hoop. Don't quote me on that, but you'll have to look it up just to double check. Okay, so it looks like black is next. So now black is going to be seven minutes because it's going to be outlining the bow and it looks like the eyelashes. So there's gonna be a lot. And I'm still using this this wonderful, um, this Heming, Hemingworth uh, Poly Select Thread, which I absolutely love. Except I hate when it comes like this and you're like, where is the thread? It has to come through that little cap thing. So let me try to see it. Black thread is not always the easiest to see. So. And you know, my vision is, is still, which that appointment will be coming up uh, this month as well with a um, neuro ophthalmologist. So we'll see what that doctor has to say as far as things, how they look, as far as my vision. And um, I don't know, will I be able to drive? I don't know if, um, if it comes to be that um, they tell me that, you know, I probably, oh, I just pulled that out of the eye, didn't I? That I won't be able to ever drive again, then I will probably be selling my car because that'll be one less expense that I'll have to worry about. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this started. So, uh, yeah, what else is going on? Um, I should cut that thread. I'm going to do that. do that oops oops <laughs> let's see where the thread was so I hope you have some plans for the weekend something fun to do um my son, I did message my son and told him about the appointment for Monday that he won't have to take me so he did say that they were going to be going to the grocery store on Sunday and he's going to fix my faucet that's been dripping so I'll probably take a run to the store with them I just need a couple things. I don't need a lot because they had just gone before Thanksgiving and had a big order. I just need some staples, you know, like eggs, milk, bread, those kinds of things. Um, and then tomorrow I'll go to my friend's house for her little uh, tea that she's having, which I'm excited about. And um, I hope I sleep well tonight. Uh, I did have a couple naps today, two, two naps. I guess a couple is two, right? And, uh, Right now it's almost 5.30 p.m. and I'm feeling a little tired, but that's what happens. And I, I try not to fall asleep because then I don't sleep well at night. And then I'm up, you know, I wake up like usually like sweating or something. I have to use the bathroom and then you can't fall back to sleep. And then I'm on the iPad and I'm looking at this, that, and the other thing. Um, and you know, sometimes your mind just starts, you know, going and you can't turn your mind off. You know, sometimes I'll throw on YouTube and I know how many of you say, oh, I listen to you on YouTube and I, you know, I fall asleep and everything. I know I can relate to that because I do the same thing. Um, sometimes just hearing the sound of someone's voice talking, you know, can just kind of soothe you and just help you fall asleep. But um, I may take some Tylenol before I go to bed just to um, 
kind of calm myself a little bit because I'm just like so worked up over it. I like everything, I, I like everything to work out perfectly how it's supposed to work out. And I know life does not do that. I know that. But um, my mind doesn't know that, you know? I like everything to be pre-planned and go as planned. And as soon, as soon as a wrench is thrown into something, it just throws me right off. Because I always think like, well, you know, this is supposed to happen. Or I think maybe there's a reason why this isn't happening. And, you know, you kind of go, I go that route with it. That maybe it's not meant to be. Or maybe, you know, those kinds of things. But, um, I know it'll all work out in the end. Because, you know, it always does. It's just a matter of me just stopping, taking a breath, and knowing that it will all work out. But uh, when the one um, nurse called me today, you know, they always want to know, you know, how are you dealing with things and how are you feeling with things. And while, you know, I am being positive and optimistic for everything that that's, may happen in the future, you know, there's just that little bit inside that still... You know, you're concerned. You know, you, you don't know. It's, it's the unknown. And um, she said, you know, how are you, like, mentally? And I said, well, to be honest with you, by not being able to drive, not being able to go anywhere other than a doctor appointment, and to be stuck in the house yourself 24-7, it can get a little daunting other than talking to the dog and the cat, which are very good company, and they're very good listeners. But, um... You know, I almost had like a little bit of a tear in my eye when, when I was saying that to her. And I was just like, okay, Sue, knock yourself out of that. Get out of that. But I did say to her, I said, well, you know, I do enjoy doing crafts. And um, I said, I um, when I find myself in a little bit of a funk, I try to force myself to go up to my craft room and create something. Because, I don't know, crafting to me is the best therapy. And let me know, do you feel that way? Those of you that are watching, I'm assuming you're watching either because there's nothing else to watch, which I hope isn't the case, or maybe you're bored out of your mind, or maybe, you know, you just like to hear someone talk. If you live alone and, you know, you have no one to talk to, sometimes hearing someone else talk kind of makes you feel like we're sitting around the embroidery machine, we're having a cup of tea, or, you know, some peach tea in my case, um, sugar-free, of course. And um, just chit-chat in the, the, the stitch away, right? So, I mean, that's how I feel. And I know, don't worry about that squeaky thing. It's the uh, hoop rubbing up against the, um, the bottom of the machine. I already checked it out. So everything is A-OK -okay with Bob. But anyhow, yeah, so that's, that's you know, I, I do get those down times. I mean... Uh, and a lot of times um, I put a face on that people think everything is wonderful and, you know, I'm wonderful and everything is. But, you know, deep down inside, you have those feelings. You have those thoughts that come across your mind. You know, how's everything going to work out? How much time do I have? How, you know, it, it, am I going to have side effects from the chemo? It, it, and what's going to, am I going to lose my hair? Am I going to be sick? Am I going to, you know, all those things. And, you know, I've come to learn that it's the fear of the unknown that makes us so um, agitated and worried all the time. This is a pretty bow, isn't it? I mean, that's like a little chicken thrown in there. It's a pretty bow. Um, and and that's, that's what it is. And it doesn't matter what it is that's going on in your life. Everyone has something. And I try to think that, you know, what I have you know, maybe minor compared to what other people are going through, that no one has a perfect life. Um, as much as you may think they do when you go on Facebook and you see all these people posting all of these things, they're traveling here, they're doing this, they're buying that, they're remodeling that, they're doing that. I mean, no one has a perfect life. Everybody has something. Some people have a little more than others. Um, and I believe that that is God testing us, knowing that we can handle this. We can do this. Um, I don't know how much more he thinks I can handle, and I don't even want to ask how much he thinks I can handle, because he has given me a lot over the years to handle. 
and um, you know you just take things one step at a time and you can do this we all can do this we can get through this and everything is going to be fine so what do you think of that right and I believe if I keep telling myself that enough times I'm going to firmly believe it <laughs> but anyhow um, yeah, we're almost done with this. We're going to do a little, it says dark fuchsia and white, and that's going to be for the nose. And I don't know, maybe I will do the nose in dark fuchsia. Huh. No, I'm going to do it in red. Okay, we're going to do the nose next. So we're going to stitch. I'm going to do red. So yeah, I thought I would come up and um, take my stresses out by doing a little stitching. And maybe after this, I'll do some more stitching. <laughs> I don't know. I have quite a lot of projects that um, I would like to do. And you know, tis the season to make holiday gifts. You know, um, I was thinking about this before when um, my friend invited me um, to come over and I thought, well, you know, sorry about hitting the camera. You know, I'm the type of person where if someone does something for me or invites me somewhere, I can never go empty handed. So the stipulation is, it's not like I could go jump in the car and go um, buy something. So when you're a crafter, you know, we all have stuff, right? We all have stash. Go in your stash, see what you have, make something, and take that and you know when you are giving someone a gift that's handmade it comes from the heart one of the things i love about crafting is yes i enjoy making things but the most important part of crafting is i enjoy giving things i enjoy making and giving and you know it's kind of a satisfaction where they're like oh my gosh you made that you know it's it's kind of like uh, yeah i did you know like it's like a pride you have pride in your work and, and maybe it doesn't always turn out 100% the way that it should. And you know what? That is okay if it doesn't. Um, because it's handmade, stitched from the heart, created from the heart, whatever it may be. And um, when you're crafty, you just whip something up and, you know, boop, you get invited one day and the next day you have a handmade gift for someone. Or maybe you've been stitching up a bunch of things or you've been making a bunch of things, you have it in your stash. You just go to your goodie stash where all your handmade things are and you just pick something out and um, wrap it up and give it away in pride. And you know, that just means so much more to people than anything you could possibly buy from a store. So we're gonna do a little white now. So it's gonna do a little highlight on the nose and then folks, we are gonna be done with this. So let's go ahead and thread our white and then I'll have to decide what I'm gonna do next because there is just so much to stitch. I don't know if I'll do another video um, because this will probably take forever to upload. For some reason, it just takes forever and a day to upload with my crappy internet. I guess it's the internet. Oh, look who's returned. Well, hello, Miss Dory. Yes, Dory. Oh, we're done. That was quick. Isn't that cute? cute that is we are finished sewing thank you all right let's see what we got here let me move you back a little watch out door so i don't run you over i have like a wheelie chair in here it's a crappy wheelie chair my daughter gave it to me but nonetheless it's a wheelie chair all right let's take this out oops i don't know what that was i just hit my scissors maybe i don't know okay so let's take, let me take a look. Oh, it's very cute. Oh my goodness. Dory is chewing on the edge of a paper bag. Why? Oh, this is so tight. I'm trying to undo the screw here. Let me see if I can pop it out without doing that. So I just, I floated the, um, can you see how I just floated the towel on top? I did a little spray adhesive and floated the towel. Let me see if I, oh, there we go. We can pop it out that way. This is such a large hoop. All right, let me get it out of the hoop. I don't know why they made you do such a large hoop. Okay. So here we are. Oh, okay, let me see. Oh, this was from Kohl's. 
Now it says $7.99, but I know I had some sort of coupons and it was on, that's a paper one, I'm gonna rip that off. And it was on sale, so I think I only paid a couple bucks. So here is the clear wash away, kind of reminds you of a saran wrap, but trust me, it is not. Peel that off. Let me get this peeled off here. A little bit left there. Peel that off. Now, whatever's remaining, you can go in there with um, like a little bit of water and it will just wash away. But here's our design. Isn't it cute? So now the back, this is a cutaway. Yes, I could have used a, um, a tear away. I could have used a wash away. Um, but, you know, I decided because it was fabric, well, what you kind of consider fabric, it's a towel. But I want to make sure that, you know, when you wash it, you don't want, although this is going to be more of a show towel. So it's going to be one of those towels that hang, that you don't really wipe your face or hands in it. Just trimming around this excess. And I think I'm pretty much going to leave the rest. You could trim around that a little bit more if you want. I probably can. A little bit around here. But I'm going to leave a lot of it. Let me put this down in my lap so I can see. I'm going to leave a lot of it there so that when it goes through the wash, it doesn't end up like all bunching up and getting crappy. If you want to call crappy, crappy. Let me just trim this a little bit more. And again, this is for me, so I'm not going to be too fancy schmancy with trimming. If I was given this for a gift, I would be a little bit more. I'm going to get this tape off of here. Oops, and I just made a pool in the towel. It's the only thing with these terry towels is very easily can make a pool in it. I'm trying to get this extra tape off here that I used for the hoop. There we go. That. All right, and let's see how it looks. I will take a picture of it in my bathroom, hanging on the towel rack. But, um, or maybe just a picture right here. There we go. So there it is. There is our cute little deer, our little girl deer. Let me try to get that in there where you can see. Isn't she cute? Let me move her back a little bit more. Try to get her in good here. There we go. She's super cute. And just a little something if you want to put on a little hand towel. You know, you can make up a set of two of them. Give them as a gift to someone. They would so love it. It's stitched out beautifully. Again, it came from Creative Fabrica. I will put the link down in the, in the description below if you would be interested in um, either purchasing it. Oh, my carriage is going to move. Hold on. Purchasing it or um, being a member of Creative Fabrica. Then you could download as much as you want. For one price, you know, or you can just buy designs that you'd like. But I think it came out super cute. I'm really happy with it. I'm going to go hang it up in the bathroom and I will take a photo of it so you can see it. And I want to thank you for joining me. If you're brand new here, thanks so much for stopping by. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you coming back and um, visiting with me for a little bit, listening to my life stories, things that happen in my life. And um, if you like what you see, be sure to hit the red subscribe button. Once you do that, next to that, there'll be a little bell. If you click on that bell and click on all, you will receive notifications when I upload new videos. So again, thank you so much. Please be safe out there. Have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful weekend wherever you may be. And until next time, happy stitching. Bye, friends.